Hi. Now I've got an example here then on the normal distribution. We've go, we're given that the length of time L hours that a phone will work before it needs charging is normally distributed with a mean of 100 hours and a standard deviation of 15 hours. And what we've got to do is find the probability that L is greater than 127. So if you'd like to uh, give this a try, I'll give you a moment just to uh, pause the video. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Right, well the first thing I'd want to do is just sketch the normal distribution for L. And underneath it I've got the standardized distribution, Z. Now, let's just put down that L is distributed normally with a mean of 100 and the second parameter is the variance which will be the standard deviation squared, 15 squared. So we're looking for the probability that L is greater than 127. So if I just mark that in, say here, that L as our observed value is equal to 127, then I'm looking for the probability of being greater than 127, and that's represented by that area there. And to do this, I then have to work out what the corresponding Z value is for that observed value. So we'll just call that, say, Z1. And once I've got that value for Z1, the probability is given by the area to the right of Z1. Now we should be familiar with the formula that connects Z with any observed value up here. It is Z equals the observed value, L, minus the mean mu over the standard deviation sigma. So if we put in our values, the observed value is 127, minus the mean, which is 100, and then divide that by sigma, which is the standard deviation, 15. And if you work this out, what you get is it comes out at 1.8. So what that's saying really is that this value of 127 is 1.8 standard deviations above the mean here. So now that we've got z equals 1.8, I can then just use tables to work out the probability that L is greater than 127 because this is exactly the same as working out the probability that Z is greater than our value for Z1, which is 1.8. So from tables, and here's an extract, you can see that the tables that I'm using here, which are fairly common, give you the probability of being less than an observed value Z. But what we've got is to the right of a z, a z value. So we can change this because we know that all the area comes to 1. So this is the same as 1 minus the probability that z is less than 1.8. And often you'll see this written in tables using the phi notation. Okay, So you don't have to put this in, but that's an option Okay, that you might uh, want to use. Well, anyway, from our tables, all we need to do is look up our z value of 1.8 and read off what we've got here, which is 0.9641. So you've got 1 minus 0.9641. And if we work that out, you end up with 0.0359. Okay?